hello, welcome to comments below. I would carry on introducing it, but Mr. Jack Salisbury says this. Welcome to comments below. The show where you leave your comments below. Some are a bit meh, some are a bit meh. And there's an epic moment in the show on a Friday called Worst Comment of the Week. But you forgot that you're a poet. I'm David Vianich. Forgot that part, but you've just said it. So now we are reminded. In today's show, we speak about, yes, the Premier League is back. Do the Vianich. Yes, it is going crazy. Do the do, 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 do Vianich, baby. So we have the Copper 90 Fantasy League. Where are you in the league? And also, where are you from? So let's kick it off. Biodrill677 says, Ozil, best player in the world, coming to the best club in the world, playing against Sunderland. Thoughts? I think before you kick it off and go into a frenzy of emotion, I'm going to say I think he's going to be benched and he's going to come on last 20 minutes and get an assist. Boom! He is going to bloody shine at Arsenal. I don't want to go too crazy. I've, I've lost energy. I'm all out of... No, I'm actually not going to shout today. You fool! Cool I am! Ozil! Come here! Come on! The Canio! Another bad day in the office, son. I just feel that we shouldn't start him. Have Flamini, Jackie, Rambo, put Santi out wide and then bring on Ozil, like you said, for the final 20 minutes just to be the icing on the cake. We have to stay focused. It's going to be a very, very, very tough game. Is it going to be tough, though? I mean, De Canio is his first team lost to the under-21s, apparently. Yeah. The camp isn't very happy. The players don't really seem to... They're not really gelling with De Canio. Do you think that's going to have an effect? It definitely will have an effect. And I feel like in games like this for Sunderland, the first 20 minutes, first 25, half an hour is so crucial. Like I'm imagining, you know, maybe a 2-1, a 2-0. Two, two, I don't think it's going to be easy. Hmm. Sunderland are going to be up for it. Arsenal, obviously, Obviously, they're going to be up for it, but it's going to be a physical game. Flamini, why? I just think he will be crucial in a game like this because he's a, a little bit more physical than the rest of the boys in midfield. Well, let's uh, move on to the next game. Tom Price said, Liverpool go to Wales. Rogers return. What do you think? I'll be happy with a draw. Pull it out. You know what? I don't want us to become too euphoric with this beginning of the season, Liverpool. Okay. I think with that win, we might become a bit... I think we need a little result just to keep us... Like, I mean, keep us steady because the Notts County game was a bit of a kind of reminder that it's not all as it seems. I want to say a draw. If we win, amazing. I will be a bit more euphoric next time I'm filming. I think it's a big game for Liverpool. They made a lot of signings, so there's now a lot of expectation. They started really well. Daniel Sturridge is doing really well. Yeah. I feel one massive thing for Swansea is the fact that they managed to keep hold of Ashley Williams and Michu. If they had lost them type of players, then you're potentially looking at Swansea on the decline, but the fact that they've added to the squad and kept them too, it kind of means that, you know, it's going to be a difficult game for Liverpool. The movement Liverpool have off the ball now, I think, is, is nearly second to none in the Premier League with Aspas. is very good off the ball, I think. If Coutinho can string those passes, uh, it can be quite a, a good win, but... It's going to be a fantastic game. That's one thing you can definitely guarantee. You're going to see some good football in that Monday night game. But I'll tell you what, at Baddison Park, there is a massive game on Saturday at 5.30. It is Everton versus Chelsea. Always a big one, isn't it? Massive. Absolutely I, massive. I keep remembering that game when Lampard scored like a 35 yard and Drogba scored like oh, a 35, 35 yard, yard and like Everton scored a 35 yard. It was just like, <laughs> it, was like it was literally like FIFA. It was like you were watching FIFA. Top corner all over the gaff, chances, fouls, yellow cards, red cards. I don't know, that game was always stuck in my head. And whenever I think of Everton Chelsea, I think it's going to be a good game. The thing about Chelsea that makes them so unique, you don't know how they're going to play. They might go up to the game and be like, all right, we're going to play nice, fluid football and absolutely annihilate this team. Everton are going to find it difficult because if Chelsea say, do you know what, we don't want to concede today, I don't know who's going to score goals for them. Lukaku obviously can't play because uh, he's on loan from Chelsea. You're relying on Jelovic and... Kone? I, I don't know, Kone, Kone looks like Cisco. Ross Barkley. Ross Barkley. But why do we always do this? What? A young English talent comes forward and all of a sudden he's Pressure. the Messiah, he's Jesus, he's doing backflips with elephants. I'm just saying, give him a season. But I may, if I'm still talking about Ross Barkley, by all means. But Ross Barkley against Chelsea is going to find it bloody difficult. I mean, Everton have made two decent signings. Gareth Barry, uh, McCarthy from Wigan, uh, Gareth Barry from Man City. But in a game against Chelsea, I don't see them being that effective. McCarthy, maybe. Barry, definitely not. Yeah. <laughs> Barry's <laughs> awful. Put it that way. But McCarthy's a defensive midfielder. And I, I mean, there's, a, there's a wealth of attacking talent from Mata to Oscar to Azad, Kevin De Bruyne, Schroeder. It's like, if, if you stop... Pardon? Torres. <laughs> if you stop one, you still got to deal with three others. So I don't know. I mean, I, if I'm being honest, tight game, but I honestly see Chelsea winning. Make sure 
you leave us your predictions. Make sure you give us a little review after the games, what you thought, who played well, any surprise players of the weekend. Just uh, make sure you're leaving your comments. Let's move on. Two, Fantasy Premier League. All right, uh, Trip Owen has said, Stephen Gavitt isn't top of the league. I am. That picture is before the table updated. Uh, we didn't get a photo of Stephen Gavitt. And you know what, mate? The world moves on. The Premier League goes on. <laughs> You have lost your chance to go on the Wall of Fame. So, Trip Owen, you're on 228 points. Uh, that's amazing. Send a picture in. At Copper 90, uh, send a photo in. And yes, you can be going on the wall because you deserve that. So, there was an analogy you was giving me about a fox and a tortoise. And, and a turtle. Like, you know, the turtle. story about a turtle and the fox. The turtle was in a race. Yeah. The fox went for a nap or something. Yeah. Then the turtle was like, oh, I'll just go past him. And he won. <laughs> David, it's a tortoise and a hare. Nah. There has been a craze. Many crazes. I mean, one of them we have on Tuesday, it is do the Ozzle. But on a Friday, there's a craze that we should never, ever ignore. It's Dudu Vianic, short sides, short back, grow the quiff. Let's get on with it. Oliver Giroud. Quiff is absolutely perfect. He, only, he even has a little bit of a hair just like dangling off like, oh, I'm French. Clovis Wong, I tried the ultimate. Dudu Vianic, I like the scary squint. Short on the sides, mate, a little bit. Thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think I got the size and the length down. You do indeed, Lewis TBS. You know what? Great cheekbones. Have you contacted ASOS about a modeling contract? Sam Monbrot, <laughs> he's got, I was going to say something very bad. He's got a troll face on and a little girl behind him and a door, <laughs> a slightly ajar door. So it is your sister and you've clarified it. Belgium, he's from Belgium. He's done where are you from and quiff up. At the same time. We quiff up. Where are you from at the same damn time, please? More chance of you getting into the show. Jordan Basra, best I could do seeing as I'm a Sikh. You know what, mate? This is Sikh. This is so Sikh. And he has actually made his um, turban kind of quiff-shaped. Patrick Hus dyed my quiff blonde and it's five centimeters long. But you know what? He's actually wow. measured it. I love that you've measured it. Tell me where you're from as well, because I'd love to know. I'm guessing maybe Czech Republic. And he supports Liverpool, look. In the background, he's got an LFC poster. So why has he got a Barcelona top on? Whoa, Chucky D. Black man, quiff, get to know, quiff up. His jawline is bloody. That is a, that is a very mathematical jawline. And that is quiff up for this week. Oh, round of applause for quiff up. Absolutely amazing. So you follow, you at Copper 90, you send in your picture and you hashtag do the Vianic. So David, it's that time, you know, it's time of the show. show. Yeah, I have to just... read the comments, like loads oh, of them, trying to beat 24. It's crazy. If can you, you don't call it? Can you beat 24 round? What's that, David? Can you beat 24 David, what what's that? that? David, what are you David, wait, run, 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 run. <laughs> Quick fire round. I'm going to stare into your soul now. I'm going to reset my watch. Three, two, one. Someone should make a book for all the jokes and comments of the week. JK Rowling, get on it. How did the hipster burn his tongue? He drank his coffee, but it was cool. Before it was when, cool. When, you, when did you beat, finally beat a score 24 in a quick round? I don't oh, know. No. Fleming, Fleming Roy. From now on, Arsenal must be known as Father Wenger. Father. 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 You guys are so funny. The best thing about YouTube. Thank, Thank you. you. Ozil. Mm. Arsenal was struggling to announce the signing of Ozil because they couldn't find the O key on the keyboard. <laughs> David Poet, I want to ask you something. Now that Crystal Palace have made all these excellent signings, do you think they have a chance of staying in the Premier League this season? No. Drogba Eto. 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 Says so on to VBA, thoughts? Okay. Brilliant. You guys should put a picture of the wall in formation. 411, shankle bottom as AM. My oh. friend goes to my onion is the only vegetable that can make you cry. So I threw a coconut on his face. Good on you, <laughs> Mohammed. You open a box of chambers that should never be open. Oh. Sorry. Kaka to AC Milan, thoughts? I'm a bit kaka. Poet help, I'm trapped in a YouTube comment. No! <laughs> What's the formation of the foosball team behind you all about? It's like a 2 6 3 to 4 4 2. What ship has never docked in Liverpool? Hey, the Premiership suck you. <laughs> oxygen and potassium went on dates. It was okay. Then oxygen went on with magnesium and it was OMG. <laughs> you shut it. up! Don't speak! I know just what you're just saying. I didn't beat again, did I? Nah. Uh, breaking news, Enwin Heskey just went on a large shooting spree in Australia. No one was hit. <laughs> <laughs> now that is good. Last week, myself and David were involved in a challenge called Do the Daniel Sturridge. If you don't remember how it went, look at this. All right, now that was an epic challenge. Personally, I felt I was amazing. How did you feel you done? Very amazing. The votes have been counted. The winner is, it's David Vianic. Well done, sir. Well done. I'm proud of you. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much.
Oh. It was quite close. Now, what we need is more challenges. I don't mind dance challenges, but this twerking thing you're trying to get me to do, I'm afraid I shall not be uh, participating in such a vile challenge. Dodo Don, which one of you twerks the best? I. <laughs> Make sure you send in more challenges, no twerking, please. Wait, 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 where are you from? You haven't read any where you froms out? Well, do you have them? Yeah, I do. Bloody hell, mate, don't forget where you from. I've had two very interesting ones. The first one is, where are you from? He's from Anguilla. Where's that? In the Caribbean. No, 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 no. no. And no, he's no, got no, this no, no, C no. up. It's on my phone, it's on Twitter, look. And the other one, the guy is from Saudi Arabia. Look, I think that's the Hajj behind him. Like where they go, oh, like that's... No. He's at the religious pilgrimage of like his life and he's done a where you're from. Please keep sending where you're from because uh, I'm actually intrigued to see more environments such as that. It's time for that epic moment in the show. I can only be described as... In Italian... Peggiore! Commento della settimana! Can I just say, your pronunciations are amazing. All right, so uh, let's get on to these comments. Uh, let's start off with Robin RVP. What's the slipperiest country? Greece. <laughs> <laughs> it's also the poorest in Europe right now, but yeah. Uh, that works. <laughs> with Sam Noel, a sandwich walks into a bar. The barman says, sorry, we don't serve food in here. <laughs> DJ Sam said 2499. Why was six scared of seven? Because 789. However, <laughs> Banton F O one said, why is six afraid of seven? Because seven has a criminal record. <laughs> why is six afraid of seven? Because seven is a registered six offender. <laughs> Karani Bricky. I walked into my sister's room and tripped over her bra. It was a booby trap. <laughs> Oh my god, which chocolate bar would last longest in a library? <laughs> a whisper. <laughs> <laughs> my ex-wife was deaf. She left me for a deaf friend of hers. To be honest, I should... <laughs> <laughs> I should have seen the signs. <laughs> a dog went to a telegram office, took out a blank form and wrote woof woof, 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 woof. The clerk examined the paper and politely told the dog, there are only nine words here. You could send another woof for the same price. The dog replied, but that would make no sense at all. <laughs> <laughs> now Bill Chowdhury, why did Sally drop her ice cream? She has no hands. <laughs> <laughs> knock knock, who's there? <laughs> Not Sally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, there's tears in my I think eyes. Slime Flower wins, poet. The woof woof one, a dog that miraculously started speaking. <laughs> the worst comment of the week, definitely. Slime Flower, you are a legend. Round of applause for you. Poet, just close off the show, mate. This, this is you. It's time to tell everyone, first of all, thank you so much for the contributions you've made over the past year. All hell you guys, because now we're going to our second year at Copper 90. So as you know, we've been uh, two days a week, on a Tuesday and a Friday. We're now just going to be on one day a week. So this is actually the last Friday show. But don't cry! You know what? Like. If you are crying, leave a comment about how sad you might be that Friday isn't here anymore. Yeah. But we are still here. Me and Poet will be here in front of your YouTube screens, in front of your computers. And we might have a couple of bit of surprises in the show for you as well. Some people might be coming in and getting involved in the show. Some people might be leaving. <laughs> I'm just being serious. <laughs> bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. <laughs> David, Start. say bye. Bye. Why are you making me say bye? Why did you tap my shoulder and tell me that you look at me suggestively like that? I'm not. Bye, everyone. Bye. See you. See you next week. Hopefully, that's not. I mean, forget that. But to yeah, be fair, you finished higher than you last season. All right, leave me alone. Hashtag just saying. Top of the league, Liverpool. <laughs> Top of the league. <laughs> what champions, basically? Liverpool are champions right now. <laughs> you, you, you laugh all you want. We're right now, we're champions. What's my top say? Ozil. It says trophies. Well, that cabinet doesn't say trophies, but Chelsea, com comfortable win, 2-0. Yeah. Comfortable? Yeah. All right, cool.